And we are live. There you go. Cool. So uh, let me see if I can put the names up. And yeah, there you go. I'll put your name up. All right. Cool. You hear me okay, right, Ping? Yep. All right. Cool. I'll be good. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, let me get out, get some, some of this technical stuff taken care of. Let me share it to a few people here, especially the Mount Real Estate Group. Because <laughs> <laughs> those guys need to see this, right? Get them motivated. Yeah. Like get a little bit of motivation. Yeah, bro. So uh, what did you say you do for a living again? Work oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait for that. That's one of my uh, questions. <laughs> I was here to see what you do, man. Because uh, you look kind of young and everything like that, bro. So um, yeah, let me uh, let me jump in. Uh, my internet feed is getting slow right now because I'm probably got like, probably got like this webcam thing going. Come on, come on. So how's the weather over uh, South Carolina? You said it's been raining a couple of days, but uh, oh yeah, finally calmed down. Yeah, finally can calm down and it's starting to get cold again. Oh, okay. Um, man, we drove through South Carolina. We went to, uh, during COVID, we drove through there. It was like, I was scared through South Carolina because the gas stations, they were closing around 8 o'clock or so. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, man. Yeah, we're only, one, we, only one out. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if we'll be able to find some uh, some gas <laughs> after 8 o'clock over there, you know, in uh, South Carolina. So, uh, where were y'all headed to? Well, we were just, uh, we went to, um, the Smoky Mountains up there. And, um, you know, just, just to, uh, just to take a little break before school starts again, you know? Yeah. Gallenberg area. Oh, uh, yeah. Forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, we got one more share to do. I just got back from there like three weeks ago. Yeah, it's pretty busy uh, for, uh, for a weekday. The I mean, how's the colors? Is it is it changing now? Is I mean, it was all green when I was there. Nah, it was still green. Okay, you didn't no no colors changing. Nope, no color yet. Oh wow! Uh, so slow. I forgot. The keyboard said. There we go. All right, those of you guys who's joined, appreciate you guys joining. We're gonna start pretty soon. We got an awesome show today. Awesome. Got a young guy here. Gonna show you guys how to hustle. Yeah, wish I got. It. There we go. There we go. Almost done. Oh. <sighs> Where's everybody at? Where's everybody from? Can you guys can we get a can we get a shout out? Any South Carolina folks? We got um we got Archie. Archie, go Bears! That's right, go Bears. That's actually I'm I'm from Chicago, man. Uh, hey Lee, what's going on? At least my cousin from uh, Minis uh, Michigan. What's up, too? St. Paul, Minnesota. And we got Michael from Oklahoma. Michael, man, I think I need to do an interview with you from uh, Oklahoma. I think everybody's going down there for business, right? <laughs> All right, uh, almost done. Let me get here. All right, let me check to see if it's posted, and then we can start, bro. All right. Uh, those of you guys join Taylor, South Carolina. 
Is that one of your buddies, Peng? Oh, yeah, that's one of my buddies. Awesome. Uh, we got Solo from Georgia. Uh, Packers all the way. <laughs> you watch I mean, you, you watch football, football at all, Peng? No, I only, I wait for the Super Bowl. <laughs> my You're like me, man. <laughs> Just wait yeah, for I the final. I, yeah. You usually wait for the finals, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pick a team, pick a team, make a bet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, that's it. I think we got everything shared. And uh, dude, this is gonna be an awesome show. Thanks you guys for joining. Uh, let's go ahead and start. <clears throat> Mo Hustler show 32. Uh, we got Pang two Vang from South Carolina. So any South Carolina folks. Or let us know where you're at. Uh, love to hear where you guys are at, uh, where you guys are watching from. But uh, toy, this 29 year old, <laughs> 29 year old made 96,000 on a real estate deal. So, dude, appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, just, you know, just you coming on the show just by, you know, just telling <laughs> us your, your win, right? Yep. Uh, hopefully it inspires uh, most of us because we want to we want to hear about wins, you know, and uh, especially with money because, you know, <laughs> making money helps can help a lot of stuff. Um, so I want to thank you for coming on the show. And, you know, we talked to you. I mean, we found you through um, I have a home real estate group uh, and, uh, you know, you posted something about it. You know, those of you guys haven't seen it, it's his check, his ninety six thousand dollars. Wins, check. you know. Yeah, and uh, especially with money, because you know, I bet. Yeah, that's fine. So, um, can you hear me? Okay, though, uh, Ping. Yeah, I can. Okay, hear you. cool. So, um, yeah, so he posted a check this morning, and then I'm like, you know, let me see if I can get you on the show, you know, and just you know, just tell us how you did it, and hopefully, it inspires other people, and then you know, uh, doing that can help other people, and then we just everybody just starts you know becomes becoming successful so just little tips here and there that we can get from you uh along with this you know we got we also got a co-host special co-host that's going to be joining we're trying something new here so uh let me go ahead and switch my stuff here i didn't i didn't put my banner up here got a special co-host i don't know if you guys were guessing who it is but uh let me bring him on the show There we go, um, Two Fang. So, hey. uh, if anybody knows who this guy is, this guy has a, also a real estate show called the Fang Real Estate Show. You know, so uh, Two, appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, maybe you might be doing this uh, as a regular thing, but you know, just want to get your feedback too. You know, as we as we start talking, you know, the more the more uh, the more heads into like you know what we're talking about, maybe it can bring out more ideas for people too so um so well, Peng, hey man. guys welcome uh, to the uh fang real estate show i'm kidding <laughs> we're more <laughs> hustlers here guys <laughs> but Ty, thanks for having me man we'll co-host this thing and hopefully uh you know we'll do a lot more of these in the future yeah yeah, yeah. so um let's start man i mean i know that was a long intro but uh bang dude what do you do for What's a up? oh well uh, I work at a manufacturing job here in South Carolina at BMW. So what we do is we build cars, the X3s to X6, X5s, and then we're just shipping out throughout worldwide, Germany and stuff like that. Mostly American cars, but been there for about three years. Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, okay, cool. So you just, what is it, like uh, just a tech or like? I'm on the line, production line. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> but I I'm moving up though. I'm moving up there too. So <laughs> gotta That's awesome, work man. my way up. Work my way up the ladder. How I mean, how product? I mean, you didn't lose your job over this COVID thing at all, did you? No, they're really um, what would you say? They're pretty good at keeping people at their job, have, keeping yeah. their job, you know. So we didn't. We, I didn't lose my job. So I mean, I guess I guess they're selling these cars you know because you're still you're still there and yep and, you know still there building cars every day so all right i, I guess it's a it's a job security <laughs> <laughs> well it's but definitely with, the right car but with your ninety thousand dollar check 
<laughs> hey, don't share this with your boss or anything like that, right? Don't share this show with your boss or anything like that. I think my boss got more money than me, so I might uh, OPM him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 See, he's already like strategizing. Yeah, that's a good point, you know, because you know you you just kind of borrow his money and you say, "Hey, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to double your money here for you." Right, that's the whole idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so so with the show, we're gonna piggyback uh, back and forth with two and uh, me uh, under certain questions. So uh, yeah. I hope you don't mind uh, paying, but uh, we'll, we'll do that and see how this how this goes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's okay. go. Hey, uh, How'd you get started in real estate? I mean, you, you're doing your BMW gig and stuff like that. They treat you really well over there. So why why you do real estate? How'd you get started? Uh, really, when I started BMW, I was uh, kind of tired of working. You know, everybody's trying to find a way out. But I enjoy it now. But uh, try to make a long story short, uh, live down the street from this house. So I saw a red tag one day at the door. Nobody was living in it. It was vacant. Walked up to the door and it was like a tax foreclosure. So I said, I wonder what yeah. that is. So, you know, I didn't really care because I had two months to um, take a look into it, you know. So yeah. then I went to the bookstore, try to try to find what I well, what am I going to do with my life instead of just working, you know, and come to find this book. This guy was sitting on the plane. I, I'm sure you guys know who he is, but I'm not going <laughs> to tell you guys until later on. So yeah, he was yeah. sitting on the plane. You know, most books, you see people with the Lamborghinis and stuff like that. Yeah. So I started reading his books, and I'm like, okay, I wonder what this guy does do for a living. Looked him up, real estate investor. Oh, that's something I wanted to do. So it kind of lines up. All right. So yeah. I looked him up, looked up his net worth. He, at that time, he was about $800 million. And I guess yeah. right now he's about one billion. You guys know who he is now, right? Grant yeah. Cardone. Yeah. Oh. So oh, what was geez. the book? The book was uh, "To Be Obsessed or Be Average." Yeah. Yeah. So be I, obsessed. I, so I started right. reading that, average, that book, yeah. and then I got into it, and I didn't know he was a real estate investor. So then, come to find out, uh, yeah. they had a event going on with the uh, real estate. So I joined in, and they were actually talking about tax lien and tax deeds. So I started digging into yeah. it more. And in the month of December 2016, they had the tax auction. So I, I attended to it and I did my, you know, my research and stuff. So I found the deal was actually starting off at 5000 Yeah. And then when I attended, you know, the bid went up and went up all the way to eleven grand, And that's how I started. Eleven k for a house. So, so where is this at again? Uh, this house is in... I'm located in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so you said how far was that from like, like uh, uh, like what's a what's a city that we know that 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 you could kind of give us a sense of direction? Uh, I would say probably Charlotte. I'm about an hour away from yeah. Charlotte. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, that that's great. Like Uncle G, I didn't <laughs> I didn't even know he was doing real estate too. So I'm glad that you yeah. found him and. Like after a while, I was like, "Damn, this guy does real estate." <laughs> yeah, so. I didn't know either. Like, like I said, everything lined it up for me. That was yeah. back in uh, that was back in 2015, and then 2016 November or something like that, or October. I found the deal, and then December 2016. That's when I went into auction, and that's how I got started. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so tell us, right? <laughs> so, just just to get an idea, like, like what's the tax foreclosure, right? So you went. You say this house is like you saw the house. What, what is it? All right. So let's just let's just kind of give like I mean we know what it is, but what what can you give us an idea what it is for for so, the audience? So a tax foreclosure is when a property goes, I guess, into a foreclose or they don't pay back their taxes. So all the county, from what I researched from, was the county only care about the tax money. They don't care about the real estate side. So if you, as an investor, pays off the owner's uh taxes right mm -hmm. then the county will take that to pay the police and fire department in the county area yeah and uh mm -hmm. it's a win-win situation with the tax lien uh south carolina state law is for tax lien only and mm -hmm. then tax lien is uh pretty much where if the owner pays it back you get yeah. your uh, initial investment back plus the interest 
Right, but how did you know that this was a like a tax foreclosure? Uh, I went on the county site and I did like a uh, Sparnberg County tax yeah. collector stuff like that. It'll yeah. show you. It'll show you every property on the site. So you saw this house. I, I think you said you saw like what across the street or something. And what was it? Yeah, like, it's like right down the road. And then you're just like, let me do a little bit of research on it, right? Yep. Yeah. Kept so my like, eyes on what? It, yeah. yeah. So you kept your eyes on it. Like what? <laughs> what? Why did you keep your eyes on it? I mean, what? Did, was it like just not up kept or what? Um, we tried to figure out what happened to the owner, but something had happened with his situation, but he never tried to redeem the property. We don't know why. No, oh, well, so, I'm saying, I mean, like, was it the parents that caught you? The parents? Appearance, like, did it? Oh, did, parents. Did, oh, yeah. Did oh. they not keep the house fixed up and there was like grass all overgrown and stuff like that? Or, yeah, you can kind of tell it was vacant because, yeah, the, with the grass and stuff, and then yeah. uh, it kind of looked beat up. Yeah. So, especially with the red orange tag they will have at the door. So, that's like, it'll catch your eyes. So, it's <laughs> yeah. like, okay, I'm going to walk up there. <laughs> so Maybe we need. There. Maybe we need that in Minnesota. We have the blue and white tags, so yeah. it's, it's it's sometimes it's 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 you don't see it as well. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> what the they red, call yeah. yeah, it's what they yeah. call drive drive for the dollar. But you know, it's down the street, so yeah. I've always kept my eyes on it. And that's awesome because that that's an indicator. So I, that's why I wanted the people to know, like that's how you know that there's a house that's distress, right? Yep. Because yeah. you can kind of see like, oh, there's something going on. And then when you caught that, that caught your attention. I mean, how long did that yeah. catch your attention? Uh, especially when you find out there's no traffic going in and out of the house. Yeah. yeah. Or you'll see like um, doors are open. The uh, or you know. All right. Uh, so again, you, with the, yep. Go ahead. So then, then, then with that, after that, you were like, "Well, let me just see what happens." So you looked up that property under the, you know, the tax, county. Yep. County, whatever it is. And then you found out that they're delinquent. How many years? Uh, this will be one year. South Carolina is one year. Okay. Wow. Okay. So one year. If the owner don't redeem it, then you they take over. You take over the property. Oh. Oh. Damn. That is quick. That's pretty good, huh? <laughs> hey, dude, do you, yeah, dude. Do you? I mean, do you know how long it takes over there in Minnesota? I think it's. Uh... We talked about it with Billy. Uh, I think it's like six months or something. Wow! Now, but that's that's if it already goes to auction, <laughs> and I think they have like the six month redemption period. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think Flora. I think Flora. It takes us three years for them to to place a bid, and then uh, you know afterwards they can take it over. Yeah. As far as uh, foreclosure, so wow, that's the main dude. You got it quick with South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, one year. Okay. But it's all county specific. But yeah, but you you bought yeah. this. This is like really uh it's not typical that like a first time this is your first deal, right? This is my very first deal, yeah. my very first uh real estate. And that takes like what is size size said? That takes like balls to 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 do this because <laughs> I would think like the first I started easy, like my first one was a house hack. So that's like easy to do, right? But like this one, I don't even. What, what was going through your head, like when you were like down at the auction site? It's Man, like, when yeah. I got to the auction, I felt confident. I was like, okay, I'm gonna yeah. grab this for five grand, because that yeah. was the first bid, right? Yeah. And then um, next thing you know, when you go in there, there's it's so competitive because they have bankers there. Yeah. Like you know, at the end of the day, you have to pay with cash or uh, cashier's check. Yeah, yeah. So the banker were just throwing two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand up just for properties, and I'm like, holy yeah. cow, I might not get it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing is, I had about seven grand on me, so I'm like, yeah. and then went up to eleven grand. I'm like, oh man, I don't have the the rest, but I'm gonna keep bidding anyways. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, wow, be careful. <laughs> so, so I took that risk. I took it's still that seven risk. grand, bro. Yeah, it's still. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I took that risk, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna call my my OPM, my mom and my dad. Their first oh. option, you know, hey, yeah. I got I got this deal. I need a I need you to lend me about the rest, you know. So rest four grand. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, okay, just come get it. All right, it was that easy though. Uh, so <laughs> so what was like? What was the what was? I mean, at that time, how much did you think the property was worth for you to be so confident? 
um, to bid like eleven grand. If it's wow. worth like twelve grand, then you know, like that's that's a very bad deal. Obviously, we know it's not a bad deal, but yeah. yeah. So with the county, they will show you the um, appraisal yeah. and stuff like that, like how much it was back in like 2016 or 2017. Yeah, yeah. And also, it's not accurate, but I do also use like Zillow and stuff too. So just to get a good estimate, you won't be yeah. accurate all the time, but just to estimate, okay, you know, it will be a good investment. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, hey, hey, quick question. So, uh, let me jump in quickly. So, you know, you, there was a few people that are already asking questions, dude. You, yeah, I see ask that question, guys. <laughs> ask questions. We'll go ahead and make him. You know, this is your way of finding out how to do this kind of stuff. So, you know, we love it. We love you guys. Ask questions. Let us know, and also let us know where you guys are. You know, from as well. But uh, quick question from two, right? So he's saying, and so in this case here, the owners didn't pay the lien. Is that correct? The lien. The lien is the tax. Yes. Yeah. So so the owner never redeemed the lien. So even if he was, I would get my eleven grand back plus a twelve percent. South Carolina is twelve percent. So every three months it goes up three percent. Twelve percent is cap. Um, but if he was to re wasn't to redeem, that's how I was able to acquire the property. But just gotcha. a little under a year. Yeah. And quickly, uh she they also say, Hey, uh, did you have to pay to use the site? No, you don't. Most of the counties' uh, websites are free for pretty much everybody, I believe. Uh, yeah. Not not California though. So <laughs> I was for oh, California. Yeah. California, uh, they 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 gave it to a third party company to well, especially San Diego. I oh, shouldn't okay. say California, but in San Diego, where I used to live, yeah, they gave it to a third party. <laughs> so you, if you want the report, you gotta pay for it. Yep. Uh, so yeah, that's why everybody's leaving. Leave in California. Yeah, I heard that. Everybody's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's so expensive over there. <laughs> so, uh, so we're getting a few congratulations. We're getting a few, you know, a few, uh, you know, um, you know, whatever, you know, congratulations here. Like, uh, guys, give this guy a thumb up just for doing this so he can talk about it and show yeah. how, you know, just give a few thumbs up. Yeah. Um, uh, there was one more. Uh, Homer says, "Did you need a special permission to be able to go to the uh, a special permit or permissions to go to the auction?" Um, actually, the auction will they will give you like a W nine to fill out, some forms to fill out that you're going to be there to bid for properties, but you don't have to bid. You can just show up and just see how the process works. But you will have to fill out uh, forms. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So, uh, it, and each uh, county is a little bit different too. So you, if you guys want to know that, uh, reach out to your county. They have a guy or girl that uh, does that. I know in, in here in St. Paul, you have to do a $5,000 deposit for you to be able to uh, bid. So, But you get oh, that yes. deposit back if yep. you don't bid. Yeah, Yeah, some county are like that. Yeah. So, so uh, I think uh, Marquis says, Turner says, you know, congratulations, where can I start learning how did you learn this particular um strategy here uh, um really i don't really like to spend money i'm always living below my means <laughs> but the thing is i did a lot of youtubing uh yeah. you know follow Hmong hustlers uh, a lot of reading and you know when you watch these videos on youtube you gotta catch what they're trying to tell you that's 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 all i can say like they're trying to tell you, but they can't tell you because, you know, um, but you got to catch it. You got to yeah. catch it. Yeah, you know? Yeah. You got to like catch it. They're giving out a secret. You know? Yeah, they're giving out a secret yeah. legally. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> so, I mean, I, I just watched this video and I caught on and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I can refinance this because, like I said, yeah. I, I, I was going to sell this property and just take profit and leave. Okay. But I didn't know there was such thing as cash out refi, so yeah, I learned that okay, from YouTube. So, yeah, so um, uh, just YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff on YouTube, guys. So YouTube, everything, second largest search <laughs> engine out there. Um, okay, so you found the deal just because it's like close to your house, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so you know, you guys look around your neighbor. You know, your neighborhood. You're gonna find deals there. I guarantee you guys. Uh, so, so you did rehab on this. What, what was sort of like, I mean, this wasn't, this is a property that needs rehab, right? Yes. Okay. So what's, so how did that process go? And what's sort of your budget for rehab? 
so I didn't really set a budget because it was my first time because, yeah. you know, I, I just wanted to get the property going. Yeah. And uh, the first thing we did was try to turn on the power. So <laughs> try to turn on the power, make sure everything works. Yeah. And then we, okay, then we started on the floors. Yeah. Well, really, I got to give a shout out to my my buddy, Jimmy Yang, to uh, mm-hmm. for the money, the loan he gave me to rehab it. <laughs> oh, okay. Because so, <laughs> we, we both went in together, you know, and said, hey, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, but I know I just need money because the, the property is good. I, yeah, I feel like yeah. it's, good, it's a good deal. So yeah. we started with the floors and then. Uh, so that's important, right? Tell us about yeah. that. You know, how did you convince him to say, <laughs> hey, this is this is what's going on. Yeah, this is important. Um, well, we've been childhood friends for a long time. So. Yeah. But people said don't do business with family and friends. So why did you? Why did you only use seven thousand? Call your parents. So your best friend to give me that money. How, yeah, yeah. How, how did you get them to agree to this? Uh, because I don't know. My parents. I've never really tried to bother them with money because they've always taught me, hey, don't borrow money. You know. Yeah. So it's always kind of like a Dave Ramsey mindset. Yeah. You know, don't borrow money. Just use your own money. Yeah. So I just walked up to my friend one day like, hey, I guess I'm kind of desperate. So I don't have the cash anymore. I already put 11 grand on this house. Yeah. Then he's like, okay. So sh- he's like, show me the house. So we went to the house because we was going to do another deal at the tax lien office. Uh-huh. And uh, he was like, hey, you already got this deal. Why not just show me the deal? I give you the money and we fix it up. I said, you know yeah. what? I didn't think about that. So I thought about it. And then, okay, I showed him the house. He's like, okay, we can do it this yeah. weekend. I'm like, oh, okay, really? Just like that? He's like, yeah, I'll give you all the money. I was like, okay, okay, what about, I was like, okay, so what about like paper and contract? You're lending me money. Don't worry about it. Just take it and we'll fix it up. Okay, we'll split at the end. Okay, all right. So, you know, the trust is there, okay? Yeah. Don't do not do this, but the trust is there between me and him. So he gave him the money. We fixed it up. And uh, we pretty much have to do all, most of the important stuff, like the roofs, the the big stuff, the roofs, yeah. AC, HVACs, um, floors, um so so it's almost water like heaters so yeah. that's like a full gut rehab already yeah like, that that's like all the stuff that yeah. needs to be done yeah so so it ended up to be about 40k so yeah I, but you know it was a first timer first yeah, deal. Yeah. So, <laughs> so quickly did you did you get a chance to see it before you you know the, you purchased it um you're not supposed to but i kind of walked inside because the door the front door was already broken so i was like i might as well make my way in you know yeah 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 so you, i walked you, in and you were you were just walking by yeah yeah i was just yeah i was just walking by <laughs> opening checking the mailbox <laughs> yeah. as a recommendation don't do that you yeah. know yeah, you can't you cannot walk into a property when you are yeah. doing tax needs and stuff you have yeah, to do your and, own research. You know, just the fact that it might not be safe too, because there's could be people in there, you know, that might be armed or whatever, you yeah. know. But you know, and also structurally you break some rules. Yeah. If you want it bad enough, and that's kind of what you did. You like you you saw it from across the street, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it on Zillow. They had <laughs> pictures on the inside. So. Yeah. Oh, they did. Okay, so you kind of got some no, sort of idea. No, they I, didn't. I was just saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I bought uh, I bought uh, my last auction without looking at it. It was just pictures, pictures for Zillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful oh. with the with the liens and stuff too, because sometimes you will buy like swapping lands or lands yeah. that's not valuable. So that's why yeah. you really have to do your research before you bid on these uh, properties. Yeah. So you have to make sure the tax uh, map is like matching the Zillow and Google Map stuff like that yeah so yeah so how did your rehab process go <laughs> everything went perfectly budget on point like, oh yeah everything yeah, was right. on point <laughs> nah. no we had to tear down a lot of stuff um i think we spent more money than we should be mm-hmm. uh because again we didn't really know how the process would go so yeah. it was the first time so i think we spent a little bit more over our budget if you okay. we start calculating our budget <laughs> what was the what was the target budget by the way uh, I think we set it at like about 25. We're like, okay, 25. We should be good. With gotcha. the floors, paint, you know, we're good. Yeah. yeah. And come to find out you have more trouble. Like you have HVAC, you, um, you have the um, water heater. 
yeah. damage. Uh, you have like septic tanks, and uh, let's see what else. You have like holes in the walls or ceilings that's costing more than it should be. Yeah. yeah. Um, you'll have uh, insulations. Yeah. Those are pretty expensive. Um, and that, that was about it. So, so were you managing the rehab or doing it yourself, or was that like a, a team? Uh, uh, we we a friend. We kind of did it ourselves first, and yeah. then we're like, you know what? We'll just hire his brother to come do it because his brother do this kind of things too. So we hired yeah. him to come do it, okay. finish off the rest. So, at this point, like, um, uh, uh so I, I I guess like uh, um. The the brother comes and do it. At this point, were you thinking that you're gonna re you're gonna refi the project or? Um, I was gonna like we're gonna go back. I, I was gonna sell yeah. it as is and take yeah. the money and go buy a new deal. But I okay. kept yeah I kept doing my research and kept following you guys. Like, what is the bird method? So okay. I kept looking that up. Like, what is the bird? You know, that sounds yeah. like okay. a you yeah know, yeah. Like, <laughs> Before we get into that, right? Before we get into that, let's ask. Let's ask. You know, uh, let's ask you a few questions, right? So, okay. love the engagement, guys. You guys, got any questions? You know, we'll, we'll we'll get your questions along the way. So, and then we can kind of you know uh, check them off the list here. So, love the engagement, guys. Uh, let us know where you guys are from. We'll give you a shout yeah. out on the show. Uh, so, two goes. Uh, well, Ong Lee says, "Where are these tax lien auctions usually held?" Yeah, how did? Where, where was it again? I, I must have missed it. Or uh, they usually do it like in downtown, close to the town hall or the tax office. Usually, it's yeah. in the auditorium because a bunch of people is going to show up. Oh. So that's where gotcha. they use it. And I think some of them are online now too. So yeah, depends. some of them are online, but I don't know. I'm not really good at online stuff, so <laughs> you have to gotcha. trust your own instinct on that one. Yeah. I need to be there live in person to see what I'm. Bidding my putting my money in, you know, that's yeah, how yeah. I am. Yeah. Uh, so Jack goes well, overall. <laughs> what did you rehab on the house? I think we talked about you did uh, you did the roof, the AC, the floors, and stuff like that. But did you do it all yourself? No, I'm I'm not a good handyman at all. <laughs> so all I did was really I painted the kitchen cabinet. That took forever. Painted yeah. the walls, and uh -huh. uh, I pretty much cleaned the house. That was it. I did yeah. not know how to put a nail in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a handyman, man. Yeah, so yeah. You, so you didn't do it. So you would you hired right? Hire out yeah, was your buddy. I hired out, time. and you know I watch how they do it. So next time, okay, again, it's always a learning process. You're watching to see yeah. how they're fixing stuff and you know putting stuff together in the house. Yeah. So, um, uh, we forgot to ask what was uh what was the makeup of this this property single family how many beds and bath was it oh this and property how, was yeah. uh single family four bed one one and a half bath uh -huh. and then uh, about how many square feet is it just so we kind of Rough, roughly that. about 1200 1200 oh uh, that's not bad good yeah. good decent size yeah. i think my i think my first one was around that size oh my first rehab was around that size too and uh yeah we end up spending roughly the same amount but we didn't even change as much stuff as you do so yeah. my contractors suck i can say that because <laughs> i'm not working with them anymore <laughs> did you, hey dude did you make 96 <laughs> no dude my first one was like i think i, I barely made like like five or six grand okay, so, well, what are you talking about my deal? we need to talk about a pigs deal Oh, okay, we, had a, so. we had a question from Billy. He said, yeah. if they didn't pay the lien, what happens to the balance of the loan? That was yeah. one of my questions, too. So I'm guessing when I talked to my attorney, um, yeah. he has said probably the previous owner owned that property free and clear. That's why the bank never had any, never came back and tried to purchase the property. Yeah. So, Say that again. Say so again. I so it. the... The balance of the loan, right? Let's say the previous yeah. owner have a mortgage on the loan, yeah. and I have the lien on it. So most of the time, the lien have uh, the right, I guess. Uh, right to take it back. Yeah, the bank have the right to take it back, but I guess the owner had it free and clear. He owned it free and clear, so with oh, no wow. mortgage on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now, if if you didn't know that, do you know the steps to find if there was a loan? Nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> no idea. So you, got, so you got lucky, dude. <laughs> yeah, I got real lucky that it was free and clear. So yeah. I think if the what? bank bank got involved, it would have been a, a more difficult uh, yeah. situation. What 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 you could do is uh, if the bank was uh, involved, they're probably there to 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 try to get the house. So they're yeah. gonna be bidding against you. Yeah. Um. But then uh, also, I mean, you bought the tax lien. So if the bank wants to buy it out, they have to pay you whatever the amount you paid. Because that that's what that's essentially what that tax lien is. Yeah. The county the county doesn't want that lien, so they want the money beforehand. And, and you're holding on to that property. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I, I think what it is is uh the, the county or the taxes has first right then uh yeah. then the um the banks the mortgage yeah, yeah. Yep. So, all right so uh let's go to like you know let's, let's go uh dude did you finish your section there as far uh, as uh rehab uh yeah I, I um i did but earlier that question if you guys want to know about uh the mortgage just ask a title company to do a title search yeah and you guys you guys could see if there's a lien on it or not Yes, but, uh, do that. Do that because I didn't know that I was yeah. supposed to do that. <laughs> a good, a good title <laughs> company will do it for you for free. <laughs> was that they'll do it for free? He said. Well, my title company does it for me for free because I bring her a lot of deals. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you a deal, and you can bring them that deal. Yeah, for sure. Just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. Go ahead, Chai. Um. Yeah. So let's 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 dig a little. Deeper into it, so two goes. Well, another two, two vein goes. What's the process of changing the ownership, and what's the seasoning prepared before you can take it over? So, so explain that process. All you, I mean, you took eleven thousand and just say, "Hey, here, county, I'm paying you." And then what happened? So with the South Carolina liens, they make you wait about three hundred sixty-five days, or three hundred sixty-six days. And then they'll process. It took them another three months to process that paperwork to me. So then uh, after that, I was really supposed to do uh, what, what they call it, a quiet title. Yeah. I was like, well, maybe I didn't need that. So I went ahead and took over the property and started rehabbing it. And then when I try to refinance it, right? When I try to refinance it six months down the road, that will be 2018, somewhere around there at the end of the year, 2018. Yeah. Try to refinance it. They say, "Hey, you need to do a title search." Oh God, I should have done that. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> so I was trying to skip all these attorney fees, you know. <laughs> so I'm, that, I'm clear. By, when did you start rehab after you paid it? Uh, I started right in the summer of twenty. But did you wait? <clears throat> did you wait, or did you just bought it and you held it for a couple? Uh, once, once the county handed me the paper and say, "Okay, yeah. you're good. Your your name's on the deed. Okay, I'm good." Then yeah. I start. Uh, I came in and I did the rehabs. Okay, all yeah. right, and then and then you said, oh, I'm just gonna skip all this." Yeah, I skipped all the attorney fees because <laughs> I thought it was done. Because usually on the South Carolina website, they say they'll handle all of that. Okay, they ha they took care of it. Yeah. So when they uh -huh. handed me that paper, I'm good. So I started yeah. rehabbing it, and then when I started to refinance it, they were like, "You can't do it. Why? Uh, quiet title. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. You know. So yeah. I only just got it done like last month. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, that's the thing. That's the thing that you did, right? What's important uh, of what you did was even if you don't know, just go. Just yeah. go talk to your lender. Your lender will tell you yes or no, and they'll tell you what you need to do, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's great that you did that. I think a lot of people, especially newbies, they're afraid to talk to these professionals. Yeah. Like ages, uh, lenders, attorney, title companies, all these people are there to help you because that's what they do. They, they, they get paid by helping people. Uh, investors or, yep. or home buyers, you know, so that's great, man. Good yep. job that you did that. Um, How much did that cost, by the way? Uh, the quiet title. Yeah, that one cost me about three thousand to forty-five. Can't really remember. I had I yeah. was paying him like every month or something. So somewhere around there. Uh, oh, uh, for the title, the the quiet the the title. Yeah, the quiet title. Oh, yeah. so three thousand total. Just to get it, yeah, just three to, to four. I can't, yeah, I can't remember how yeah, much it was, fine. but <clears throat> so just to get an idea of what people can think, like yeah, be prepared to pay that. Rehab, <laughs> work, you know, uh, all this other stuff, you know. So there's yeah. there's more stuff to it, you know. Yep, there is. But uh, uh, let's see here. So uh, uh, guys, love your engagements. Uh, let us know 
if you have any questions and we'll go ahead and ask Peng, you know. Yeah. So um just to recap, <clears throat> May ninety six thousand. How how long did it take you? Uh you see you bought this a couple years ago, right? Yep, about two two and a half years. Yeah. yeah. Two and a half years to refinance out. Okay, yeah. two and a half years, bought it, uh rehabbed it, and then two and a half years later, uh he's refinancing oh, it. So explain that process, right? So what what was your whole logic thinking through that whole process? Uh, since it was such a long process, you know, sometimes in life you do tend to lose motivation. Like, oh, it's not going to go through. So it finally went through, but I kept strong at it. Like, it's going to go through, you know, because, you know, we had COVID happen. And then we had uh, my credit wasn't as good because I didn't think you needed credit, you know. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, so I can just refinance it. And then we had to do the quiet title, which took another 60 days. And then the loan process took another 60 days. So it just kept going and, you know, extending my time. So, and uh, here I am now, finally got it. And it's yeah. still my first deal, very first deal. Um, it's my only deal I still have. Yeah. And now I can finally purchase more deals with this money. <laughs> That's good. So, yeah. so you, you, you rented this out, right? Yes, it's being rented okay. out. So how much, how much have you rented it out for? Uh, it's more of a countryside, so it's being rented out at 1000 a thousand yeah yeah but but the, but then like how, how much are you making after the refi now and then we'll go back to your refi thing like like uh, what's your cash flow looking like my cash flow with this property was still looking at about 300 300 yeah yeah so we're still there. very good man and you yeah. made some money oh, I made <laughs> you made money, money? yeah made yeah. Oh, yeah yeah <laughs> so <laughs> So explain, explain, explain um, uh, the whole, what, what that process, process is, like that burr thing. How, how did you come up with burr? Explain burr for those that don't know, and then why did you do that? Like, okay, so with yeah. the burr, all you do is you find a distressed property, a okay. beat-up property, um, and then you buy it, Yeah. and then that's you the renovate first, it. The, yeah, yep, yeah. And then the next step is you're going to rehab it, renovate it. Yeah. Take take your money, fix it up, make it look good, make it look nice, yeah. bring it back up to value. Yeah. And what you're gonna do next is you're gonna rent it out. Yeah. So you're gonna rent it out, and then you're gonna go to a bank and refinance it, pull yeah. all your equity back out. Yeah. So that's what I did, and um, it was a good success. Yeah. So that's great, man. I love bird deals. I, I, yeah. I mainly um, a lot of my deals are bird deals, and um, you know. Uh, the best deals are like what you're doing right now, right? Yep. I mean, the best deal is you have zero dollar in there. But the even better deal is what you did, where you have more than zero dollar in there. You actually made some money. Oh, yeah. you made a lot of money. So you pulled, um, you pulled the the what's the full amount that you pulled out of the property after you rehabbed it? What was that check? That check that you post was that like the the total yeah. amount you took out, or was that the profit that you took out? That was the total amount that I put pulled out. Okay. So yeah. That's great. Um, near almost a hundred thousand, and you put in let's see, eleven k to purchase, forty k to fix, four k. So close to like fifty five k. Yep. But you took out like ninety something, almost a hundred thousand dollar out. So you made over, over almost fifty k cash free. Yep. Tax free. Tax and free. you still get yeah tax free yeah <laughs> free five for tax free you still have to know in this and then you still have like probably uh what's the what's the ARV I mean what's the uh, loan to value that you took out of? was it uh, at seventy five it was at seventy five percent yeah so you yeah. still have twenty five percent equity in the home yep. yeah right you took you made you took all the money out tax free and then you took cash for your bucks a month. Look at the smile yeah. on his face, guys. I, Look at the I smile think I on got greedy. Face. I got greedy. I took out all the money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which, but, which you're supposed to, right? Yeah, yeah and, you're supposed to. Yeah. You pull all you, your money back out. And do yeah, it you again. take the money back out for the last step of Burr, right? For the yeah. repeat pro, uh, part. So that you're going to start and repeat this process, right? Yep. You're going to do yeah. it all over again. After yeah. After you go on a nice vacation, but <laughs> <laughs> are you are you married? Yeah, I am. You got yeah, three you got boys, a... married, three boys. Oh, that's nice. that's awesome, man. Yeah, you so... got you got to get the wife a little bit something so that. You... <laughs> hey, hey, here we go, here we go, here we go. 
<laughs> so let's let's discuss some numbers. So, so you yeah. convinced your friend, right? Mm -hmm. How much did you pay your friend back? Uh, pretty much, I just gave him all his money back, and then I said, "Okay, whatever I refi out, then I'll just pay you the difference too." And we'll we'll just talk about that. So we really, I really don't know how much I paid back, but I know I paid all of his money back. <laughs> yeah. So maybe I think I paid him back. He gave me forty. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, I just pay you back forty, and then on top of another twenty grand. So he's right. like, okay, that's that's a deal. You know, okay. okay, that's All great. Right. So yeah, you, you both win. You know, yeah, we both you needed win. his help, right? Yeah. And uh, it was a it was a win win on both. And yeah. you know, he'll probably trust you again to do this again, right? But um, I want to emphasis emphasize. You mentioned something about you know tax free, right? You caught that. <laughs> yeah, we, you guys were talking about that earlier too. Yeah. It's that's a big thing, right? Too. Yeah, yep. that's a big thing. That's a big yeah. thing right there, because yeah. you just pull money out to do so you can do something with it, anything you want to do with it, and then you got this vehicle, <laughs> which is your house, right? Which is the house that you're renting out, which is making you income to pay off the 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 mortgage, and you you probably I mean. Can we ask you how much you're making after expense after after the mortgage? Uh, after that, yeah, about three, three, uh, three hundred fifty dollars, something like that. Yeah. Wow. So you make so yeah. So you're making three hundred bucks, you know, per month profit, right? That's the way it is. Yeah. Yep. And you took out, you ref refied out ninety six thousand tax free, and then mm -hmm. what are you gonna do with it? Any, uh, I think somebody asked that, you know, what, what are your plans for that? <laughs> I think my lord, when I signed the paper, the lawyer's like, Where are you gonna be going? Nowhere. <laughs> He's like, well, you got all this money, what you gonna do? I said, Oh, buy more properties, I'll see you around more often now. That's like, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it's it. great. So, is your, is, your, is your buddy, uh, Jimmy, right? Is, is he going to be doing, uh, is he actively going to be doing deals with you or he's, he's just going to passively invest? Uh, with you? I'm hoping so, but right now he's already uh, doing his own business in Cali. Uh, yeah. He's a pharmacist yeah. owner, so he owns uh, two pharmacists right now. So, yeah. he's actually yeah. going bigger than I am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, you know, uh, uh, it's a great win for him. I yep. have friends that, you know, like, <laughs> Or, or I'm, I'm gonna talk to a couple of buddies uh, yeah. in a few days, and you know they're too busy, right? Yeah. So yeah. us investors, we're actively out here looking at deals and stuff like that, and you, we provide these opportunities to our family and friends. Yeah. That's how I see it. Anyway. So yeah. yeah, yeah, he's always been that mindset, like take his money to make more money. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just ask him, you know. <laughs> but you know, funny story. My wife was like, oh, don't ask him for money. You know, that's kind of yeah. rude. I'm like. Well, I'm kind of desperate, you know, so <laughs> you got it done. Right? You got it done. One, one of my mentors uh, 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 told me is that you got to reframe the thought process, right? Because yeah, you're not you really, you're not asking them for money. You're providing yeah. them opportunity. Yep. You're, uh, yep. Uh, and, uh, and, and I mean, we talked about Grant Cardone um, earlier. Uh, like a lot of the stuff I do is sort of like what he, uh, well, like, uh, anyways, um, you, you you provide opportunities for for the people around you, you know so you enrich their life they enrich your life yep okay so we had a question here right so michael goes hey so what would you do differently about the next time around <clears throat> uh well what i do is go talk to your attorney get an attorney make sure everything's right make sure it's yeah. under your name uh make sure you have the quiet title and yeah. uh yeah that's the first thing i'll probably do what's what's the risk to that is there a risk if you don't do it uh, you know? There's really no risk because the the longer it is that the owner don't redeem the property, yeah, the the closer you are to own it. But if you want to refi it out, you have to do a quiet title. That's what yeah. they told me at least. So you so, already so you're already controlling it by paying the taxes, yeah. right? So so paying it off, well, doing the you know having the attorney and stuff like that, it didn't, you know. So what you did was pretty much correct as well. Yep. It didn't have to be done until you needed to refi anyways. Yeah, everything was correct, but it just wasn't in order. So, oh, okay. Yeah. And it wasn't fast enough because you got to wait. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't fast well, enough. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, you have other questions? 
Uh, I'll save this one for last. But uh, hey, two, did you did you have any questions? <laughs> oh, oh, you're you're saving. Well, there was one about bird. I can't pronounce, guys. So when I said bird, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can say like Brandon Turner. <laughs> So, so I, I tend to put a D at the end, but so it's not bird; it's a bur, b r r r r. Four R. I'll show you what he's talking about right here, so you guys can read it. Yeah. Can learn more about the bird process. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all right. All right, man. It's all right. Uh, yeah, the, uh, guys, have any questions? Uh, go ahead and uh, put it down in the comments. Uh, let's give him a thumbs up. You know, yeah. give him a thumbs up for doing this, telling us what he did. You know, um. This is this is great stuff that everybody wants to hear, you know, because yeah. it's like little secrets, you know, and yep. it's good to hear that, you know. You gotta so, catch what we're trying to tell you too. <laughs> so you gotta catch what we're trying to tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some there's some stuff that's some there, secret. you know. It's a lot of work, but then, dude, I mean, who makes ninety six thousand in two years? Yeah, it's well, hard. Yep. You know, and this guy did it, and he's only. Yeah. 29. I don't yeah. know how old the rest of you guys are, but this guy did when he's 29. And, so. you, and you did it, and you did this part time, right? You're still working at yeah, BMW. Yeah, I'm, I'm still working. Yeah, still. part time. So, if I could find deals every day like you guys, I would probably do it full time. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's uh, um, another aspect of the, the bird deal, right? A uh, bird strategy, right? Is that, or, I mean, you alluded this earlier. So that refinance part, right? They, they want you to have. Uh, can you, uh, I mean, we're going back a little bit, but can you touch, because uh, I know a lot of house flipper friends of mine, they don't have good credit, they don't have good jobs. So then it's very difficult for them to refi. So can you kind of explain that that portion, that refi portion um, uh, of the process? And, and, and what yep. was, yeah, yeah. How were you able to like, you know, get that refinance? Okay, so with the refinance, I didn't know that you have to have credit. So credit plays yeah. a big role. Yeah. Um, my advice for you is if you have bad credit, try to piggyback somebody's credit. Yeah. That's one of my advice that I did. Piggyback yeah. somebody. Um, try to pay off your credit, credit yeah. cards, or you can try to ask for an increase, credit increase. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? The debt to income ratio also play a big part too. So your yeah. debt to income ratio has to be about under thirty, if I got that right. I think it was under thirty. Yeah, thirty percent. Um, but, but, yeah. yeah, but I did call a couple of companies too, and I got rejected, and uh, it, that also took me a while too. So yeah. So then I started learning the credit process. Okay, how can I get my credit to improve? So that's what I did with the piggyback. Okay. Yeah. So piggyback is when like, can you kind of explain that? I think. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Sure. A piggyback is when, let's say you have your parents, for example, I'm going to use them. My mom's got 800 credit score and let's say I have a 680 and she's going to give you a credit authorized user. Yep. So now you're under her credit, which, you know, hey, mom, just hold on to the credit card. I'm not going to use it. I'm just trying to yeah. piggyback your credit. So they're going to pretty much combine your credit and kind of round that up or, you know. Well, well, they, it, it doesn't affect your parents' credit, but your 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 credit get instant boost. Yes. So yeah, that's a great strategy if you guys could find someone that you trust, and then they just add you to their credit cards. Like especially if they have like a high credit limit, you know, like fifteen thousand, twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Just add the, just add them as the authorized user. Your credit score jumps like 50 percent, like instantly. Yep. Well, not instantly, but like within the month. You know? Yeah. So you guys do that. That's a great strategy. We use that because my credit sucked too when I started. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to do that. Then, like now, I have other uh, buddies that invest. I had to kind of help them out with that too. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's 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 kind of wrap it up. Uh, so uh, I kind of save this because you know we're we're seeing this uh, coming. You know, uh, everybody's talking about it. But uh, here's the question: How do you? feel about the current market is it harder to find deals or is it the same have you have you been looking Peng? uh i've been looking trying to buy me a house to live in but <laughs> but i think the market right now is a seller's market 
and uh, yeah. it's pretty expensive. I would say it's pretty expensive right now, but the interest rate is really low, so it's kind of a win-win, anyways. So that's well, how I see the market. As, but as far as like, have you been looking for any more deals like this, or are you looking at different strategies now? Or um, actually, I'm gonna stick to this deal, and then I'm really trying to house hack my next deal. Yeah. But come to find out, you know, I do do drive the drive for the dollar, which means yeah. you drive around the neighborhood, see yeah. all these distressed properties. And I found this duplex that will be going to tax sale soon next month. So yeah. they, I think the tax uh, tax was like thirty nine hundred. Yeah. And hey, I got ninety six. So yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, we gotta we gotta move over there. Yeah. So uh, I hey. mean. I'm thinking the, the morning, property. <laughs> I'm thinking the property should be going up to at least fifteen to twenty. So, I mean, like again, I got ninety six, so I I don't really have nothing to worry about. I think yeah, that property, yeah. that duplex, is appraised for just on Zillow is like one seventy already. So yeah, and that that's great. You, you if you if you live in there, you'll you'll get a better uh, uh, loan to value too. So yeah. you should be able to pull, pull more money out. Yeah. If yeah. if that if that deal don't go through, then I might just house hack. Yeah, so we gotta do we, we gotta do a update video when when you do the next one, the okay. house hack one. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep that. We'll keep that as a uh, as a as a what do you call it? Uh, as a teaser. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Teaser, I, I you probably, know, yeah, hack I'm one. gonna return. Yeah. 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 Return it to we'll the come show. back, guys. So you gotta uh, tune in to the Among Hustlers uh, 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 live stream. You gotta like, share. You gotta. <laughs> oh, I think you put this on YouTube too, right? We'll put this on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So if you're watching like this on YouTube, hit the like, subscription button. You know. Yeah, exactly. So you'll get notified when when this comes in. But uh, okay. yeah, we'll, we'll bring you. You know, hopefully uh, we can get you back on here and discuss. Uh, you know, your house hack. Uh, or any new deals that you're coming, so uh, um, dude, did you have any last words? Um, me or two, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, two. <laughs> oh, 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 me, I thought you <laughs> too many twos. <laughs> Your name's two, too, right? Shy, oh, uh, the, yeah. the first part, you know, just like two is in two, but you know, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, no, I mean, do you have um um? Are you still gonna do your last questions? Yeah, yeah, you, I got you, one last question, which I ask all the all the guests. But uh, I want to do. I want to see if you have any final final words before I uh we we, we kick that up. Well, before that, um, yeah, Pei, I'm glad you're doing this, dude. Um, uh, I, I don't you. know how 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 that book helped you. Uh, but like be assessed or be average, that helped me. But like that kicked my ass to like like you know, not be average, you know? And so yep. they give me the confidence to like do deals. So I don't know if that, did that help you too? Or, bo or boost the confidence or? Uh, again, man, you don't ever really see anybody just sitting on top of a plane. So yeah, it's more yeah. of a, just, oh, he's on a Lambo or he's on a Ferrari. Okay, I'll read the book. <laughs> but my my biggest book that really caught my eyes that changed my mindset was, uh, of course, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert oh, yeah. Kiyosaki. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a classic. Always. Read that book right. like eight times already, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's also on YouTube, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not getting in trouble, man. <laughs> the, the book is uh, Grant Cardone. Uh, yeah. obsess, be obsessed or be average. Yeah. yeah. So Nucci goes, hey, Nucci goes, what's the name of the book? Uh, yeah. Uh, we call it uh, Uncle G. Uncle G. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle G, or we call it Uncle GC. But uh, yeah. he's I, like, I, yeah, he's up there. He's. Yeah. Change, Wait, uh, change my life you know yeah. uh, it looks like it changed your life it looks like it changed <laughs> your life too so yeah. uh we gotta give him the credit you know yep. Yep. and rich dad you know kiyosaki you know yeah. so kiyosaki. um yeah so hey if it, guys if this gets you excited you know we do have a home real estate group that you know that we all participate in uh look for it on facebook just uh just search under home real estate uh group and then that shows up we're all in there most of the time uh, just talking about how, you know, deals and stuff like that or, you know, questions on real estate. So uh, if this gets you excited, uh, you know, maybe we'll make uh, pain, you know, chime in a couple of times on on, on some, some secrets, you know. Yeah. So um, that's it. So I do have one last segment 
that we asked all our guests before, you know, we let them go is that if you had a billion dollars, what's the first two things you would do with it? Me or them? Yeah. You. Do. Same. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I think I can buy a lot of things. Yeah. But I think I would just stick to real estate and buy income assets. You know, yeah. I want to make more money, make my money yeah. worth for me, for just not me, but generations down. Yeah, that's right. That's that's one of my biggest goals. Generation uh, wealth. Okay. Yeah. What about the, the second, second thing that yeah. you're going to do with it? Probably be like Batman. You know, he's a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Under, <laughs> undercover superhero. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that, hey. isn't that you already, Chai? Aren't you Batman already? No, but you know what I'm saying? If he had it, he can be the Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you, I want to do that, and I want to be able to help people out, too. So, you know, I'm yeah. always trying to help people out, try to show them that there's more opportunity out there Yeah. Um, than, you know, the 9 to 5. Um, of course, I'm still a 9 to 5, too, but, yeah. you know, you have a bigger mindset. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Nine to five, nine to five is a source of income too, guys. It, it is. When you run it, away from a nine to five. Hey, my my quote would be uh, nine to five gave me my uh, American dream, you know. Yeah, yeah. But my my business gave me the financial freedom. Yep. Oh, that's good. <laughs> good. I think that's Instagrammable. Hey, don't that's steal it. Don't steal it. Oh, I'm gonna post that later. I'll credit you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Payne, appreciate you being on the show. Uh, two, hey, appreciate you coming on the show, being a co host. Yep. If you guys like this format, uh, where I bring in a co host, um, it, it creates a different atmosphere. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, com comment below that if you guys like this or not, or maybe how we can interact differently just to get you guys engaged. Uh, love to hear your feedbacks. And uh, like I said, there every night or all the time when we end the show, guys. Uh, Peng, uh, thanks for coming in and yep, uh, thanks for having us. And uh, keep hustling, guys. Keep hustling. All right. Yep. Uh, good luck, right, everyone. Uh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Peng. I just want to say good luck to everyone. And uh, the ninety-six k, it is cash check, so it's not. It's tax free too. So it's just not. Oh, it's equity. It's yeah. I pulled out all the money, ninety six thousand. So if I can do it, you guys can too. Keep it up. You guys have a deal. Call me. <laughs> there we go. He's already, he's already opening his channel up. All right, guys. Have a good night. All, all right, you guys. Thanks for having me.